To explore the author benefits of open access publishing through our Read and Publish agreement, I'm meeting with some of our authors to hear more. I'm here with corresponding author Rikesh Patel, who is currently a postdoc at Lund University in Sweden. With his co-authors, he recently published an article in Journal of Experimental Biology showing that mantis shrimp can identify an object by its shape rather than its colour. Ricky, what does it mean for you as an author to be able to publish open access through our Read and Publish initiative? Um, it actually now means quite a bit. So during my fairly short career as a, um, as a scientist, I've been really privileged to be part of universities and institutions that have had um, subscriptions to the company of biologists and JEB. So it's never really been a problem for me personally to be able to access these papers. Um, however, I can imagine there are quite a few individuals that might be interested in the science, um, like science communicators or people that might be writing about science on their blog, on blog spots or other things like that, um, that may not be part of institutions that allow them free access to these articles. Um, and that could be a struggle for them. Um, so it's really nice to know that my article, which is open access, will be freely available to anyone that wants that information and can access it. How did you experience the read and publish um, sort of workflow? Was it simple to use? Uh, did you have to fill in paperwork? Uh, it was extremely simple. Um, so I did my work with my previous institution, but now I'm a postdoc at Loon University. Um, and I emailed JB explaining my situation and they told me it was fine. So I went ahead and did the, the read and publish agreement. And it was very simple. There was very little paperwork um, and it really wasn't any more complicated than normally publishing. Can you tell us a little bit about the story behind your paper? Sure. Um, so mantis shrimp are marine crustaceans, which have become recently quite popular um, due to their really wonderful eyes they have. So they have these two fairly large eyes on their heads that can move independently from one another. Um, but probably the most they're most famous for the really striking uh, photoreceptor diversity that they have in the retinas. Um, and they have all sorts of special channels that go from the deep UV all the way to the far red. Um, so I also found recently with, uh, when, with my co-author that mantis shrimp will use landmarks during navigation. Um, so while running those experiments, when I started noticing that they would actually use landmarks while navigating, it really got me thinking about what mantis shrimp used when they recognize an object. What visual information is salient to a mantis shrimp when it sees an object and recognizes it? Um, so I developed uh, an experiment in which mantis shrimp were trained to an object of a specific color and shape. So my co-authors and I found that mantis shrimp in our experiment were able to recognize the object's shape, but one is not able to recognize the object's color. And during an experiment in which we conflicted the cues where we presented two um, objects and one had the correct shape and one had the correct color, mantis shrimp would more often than not choose the object of the correct shape over the correct color. So in total, we found that in our experiment, mantis shrimp were able to identify the object's shape but was not able to identify the object's color and therefore the shape seemed to be more important. So I, I noticed that you're also an illustrator. Um, is that mainly scientific images? Um, so as a bachelor's student, I actually had a dual degree in biology and in visual art, and that was for scientific illustration. So I've done that a fair bit, um, but I also do enjoy um, visual, other visual arts like drawing and painting. Um, but yes, I do scientific illustrations quite a bit. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for giving your time today because it really does mean a lot to us to be able to feature authors who have been successful publishing with the journals and being able to publish open access through our Read and Publish agreements. Thank you very much. That's my pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.